We're just friends. What are you saying? Oh. <laughs> Trash. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Stomach Issues, which I had yesterday and today we're gonna be filming a food video just because it works so well together, you know? It's just the logical consequence, but I always have stomach issues, so... It's not because I only eat fast food and instant ramen, I swear. I know all of you always think that's the reason, but it's just because of my genes. I have bad stomach genes. Thanks, mom. Actually, my mom never has stomach issues. I don't know where it comes from. Probably my grandpa, he has stomach issues. Thanks, Horst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I found this one video on Instagram which led me to a whole new world of food. I wouldn't say that I'm not experienced when it comes to food, but I did find some very interesting recipes which I shall call cursed recipes or at least very unusual and very irritating. That's my brand. I'm cursed myself by Horst when I was born because of his stomach issues. Let's go into the kitchen which is actually just two meters to the left. <laughs> I'm ready to fuck up my stomach. I'm hungry. Hello, I've moved to the kitchen. Because the first recipe for today's cursed menu is gonna be Twinkie hot dogs. I've never ever eaten Twinkies in my whole life and now is the time to finally try them out. Don't worry about it. I saw the video of Liam's lunchbox. I think he actually does a lot of cursed foods and he went to this hot dog place and they just made this. But I don't need a hot dog place. I am the hot dog place. I actually about two Twinkies. I couldn't even find the original flavor, which was kind of upsetting. I only found banana and pumpkin spice. I feel like people love Twinkies, don't they? Did you ever try Twinkies? Yes, we both did. We did? Oh, I guess I did try Twinkies. Did I like it? I thought it was okay. It was just Oh yeah, but also this brand, Hostess, is like very naughty brand. You're just mad at them for the donuts. No, I love them for the donuts, but I hate them for the donuts because they make these amazing powder sugar donuts and they make these disgusting like Play-Doh tasting donuts. We're actually gonna fry these because we want like some fried hot dog buns. So I just made a very basic frying batter by mixing some flour, some baking powder, some salt, some water, and some milk just like super easy i mean obviously you can also just like try out some more stuff you could also mix some cornmeal in there or maybe some eggs but i just wanted to keep it very simple because i'm not sure i believe in this recipe anyway i'm actually gonna get my air fryer because i will not not for the love of god be frying today only air frying but not oil frying just making it clear okay well, come on to and air fry we'll find out but i i believe in my my air fryer will be Bobby. <gasps> ah! I dipped my wig into my frying batter. Cheers, everyone. I'm scared it's gonna break, actually. Is this too thick? I'm scared. Is this gonna hold? This is probably not gonna hold. We're just gonna insert our wooden stick <laughs> into the Twinkie. I'm gonna try. I have to violently press it in there, but I don't know how I'm gonna get it out, to be honest. It's gonna break. What do I do? We're gonna freestyle. We're just gonna place it in the air fryer. Oof. It's that's tricky, guys. There's a cat hair on there. The ditch. <laughs> wow. Let's um air fry these cute guys. Do you see the broccoli? <laughs> I don't know for how long. Let's just test it out. The air fryer is very loud, but we can still prepare our hot dogs. I mean, prepare in like just put these sausages in here. But also, I accidentally did not buy veggie ones, so Vincent cannot try, which is very, very sad. But I mean, maybe I'll make these again. <laughs> oh. oh no, it leaked. Or oh, no, that looks rough. Okay, so here are my hot dogs. I don't think they really look like hot dog buns, but I'm just gonna cut them open and put my sausage in it. And we're gonna put the sausage in. <laughs> There's no Twinkie cream in there anymore. Oh, but don't worry, it still smells like banana. Look, we can just like squeeze it in there. That's perfect. I am very impressed by my Twinkie hot dog so far. Now we're gonna garnish it with ketchup and mustard because that's what you put on a hot dog, obviously. 
We also need some powdered sugar for obvious reasons. We're gonna top it off with some whipped cream. What, are you jealous of my hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, here are my Twinkie hot dogs. All right, let's try the um, banana one. Cheers. <laughs> what do you think? Do I like it or do I hate it? I mean, I don't like the banana in there, but I think the classic Twinkie would actually be very bomb. It's good, but banana Twinkies are disgusting. But it's so crazy because the Twinkie really has the hot dog bun texture now. You would never know that this is a Twinkie. Looks can be deceiving. I like sweet and savory together. And whipped cream and mustard together. A new TikTok trend. Mm -hmm. Let's try um, pumpkin spice. Mm. That tastes like something you would get at the Christmas market. Maybe I should sell this. It's amazing with the pumpkin spice. Wow. I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll be right back. A few pumpkin spice hot dog Twinkies later. So I just devoured those Twinkie hot dogs and I'm not even surprised. Just disappointed. <laughs> I don't even want to recommend this because I know I have like weird taste buds. The next thing we're gonna be trying is a very easy thing and I wouldn't necessarily consider it a cursed food. It's more of a very weird food combination, which is watermelon with mustard. I feel like mustard is something that's like everywhere on TikTok because people just love to combine stuff with mustard. But the most popular one, which people actually really, really loved, was definitely watermelon and mustard. It's not watermelon season anymore, so I could only buy a honey melon. Is this a honey melon? A yellow melon? I don't think I've ever cut a honeydew melon and I don't think I ever bought a honeydew melon. Do you guys like honeydew? I mean it definitely tastes a lot different than watermelon so I don't know if this will still work but I didn't want to give up so we're gonna try it with the honeydew. Wow this is so juicy! I'm gonna make this quick and easy. It's gonna be soon faster than you know. What? <laughs> Let's get some mustard up in this bitch. <laughs> Mm, that's a whole lot of mustard. <laughs> Why does my melon taste like detergent? It tastes like shampoo. I mean, I like the mustard. Let me try another one. More mustard for my custard. I'm not so sure about this. But then again, it's not a watermelon. Mm -hmm. Yes, mustard. Go mustard. You're so important in this video. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make coffee, but not just any coffee We're gonna make McDonald's fries coffee. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this to you guys Maybe I don't have to explain this actually This is the video which made me get into cursed foods on Instagram I'm not sure if this is a thing Vincent said he actually wanted to try this too because he saw it in a five-minute crafts video about coffee hacks I mean, I'm not like the biggest coffee fan myself then maybe I'm actually gonna like fries coffee. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to order fries from McDonald's because that's kind of a waste because I wouldn't order anything else. So I'm just gonna make my own fries. And by that I mean I'm just gonna put frozen fries into my oven. Mm -hmm. And my fries are ready. We're ready to make coffee now. For that, we're gonna be shredding, blending the fries. Here are my fries, my McDonald's fries. <laughs> I also salted them a little bit because I know McDonald's fries are salted. A coffee blender is, as we know, for blending fries. Boopity bop, bubbly boop. <gasps> Look at this bit! Mmm, fries are so good. I'm just gonna fill it all in here into my French press because this is how we're gonna make the coffee today. Because I don't want to ruin Vincent's coffee machine, obviously. <laughs> oh, more! We need more. Uh huh, interesting, interesting. Baby, are you coming for the bud? <laughs> I just wanna look into your mouth! All right, guys, so here is my coffee blend, my mashed potatoes. And now we're just gonna put some hot water. <laughs> I mean, it basically is mashed potatoes. Let's use our French press. Oh, oh, um, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> we just need more water, guys. What kind of sorcery is this? I guess this does not work with a French press. Oh, I don't think that's the point. <laughs> So maybe you need a different tool for this and not a French press. But we got our coffee! 
I foamed up some milk. Amazing. Smells really good. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Mmm, <laughs> fries. Mm, you have to chew a little bit. I love to chew some bits in my coffee. It's really good. But it does give me a bit of a coffee vibe, actually, because it's like very bitter at the end. It's not only coffee, it's also your dinner. Not too bad, actually. Would you drink this? Survivable. Apparently Vincent thinks it's okay, but also he doesn't want to drink it. Can somebody please tell me who thought of this? Why? Is there any benefit? Did I do anything wrong? Can I do anything wrong with this? I mean, yes, the French press was a little bit of um, a challenge. All in all, I can definitely say it did taste exactly what you would think it would taste like. Let's get to the next one. I also wouldn't necessarily consider this cursed food, even though it's very questionable and very kind of wrong. In this case, we're gonna be making chocolate hummus. I personally really like hummus and the chocolate in there, I don't know about it. Apparently it shouldn't taste too bad. I, I don't know. Hi, my booby. Hi. Say hello to the YouTube broccolis. Oh, bye bye. Okay, oh, bye bye. <laughs> we need 250 grams of chickpeas. Hello. Oh, I thought you were gonna mesh my energy. <laughs> <laughs> One third cup of tahini. Oh, it's already so full. Half a cup of agave zero plus Mexico. I don't think this one is from Mexico. That's way too full. I should have picked a bigger one. <laughs> we need six dates soaked in warm water. Look guys, I found this big aguacate. For us it's special, but I know for other people this is their normal avocado size. It's as big as my face. Amazing. And now we need 100 grams of dark chocolate melted. Let's add the hot chocolate. I would guess our dates have soaked long enough. I'm just gonna put them in there. And now it's finally time to blend this clean. I mean, it's really thick. We're transferring, guys. My chocolate literally unmelted itself. Almost forgot the pinch of salt, guys. Let's do that again. Guys, after our full body workout, I think we're actually done. Now we're just gonna garnish it with some pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. <laughs> and here it is, the beautiful chocolate hummus. Could be good, could be horrible. Let's just dive in with my very good looking toast. I'm kind of good. It tastes like it's supposed to be like this. It tastes like chocolate spread. Yeah, it does. It's really good with the pomegranate seeds. If you make this, make sure to eat it with pomegranate seeds. Okay, so this next one is also not necessary. Curse, I mean you could probably call it curse, but most of all it's just something from TikTok. Yes, okay, I'm sorry. This is not a TikTok video, I know. And we're talking about this frozen fruit roll-up trend. I mean TikTok in general is very obsessed with freezing stuff, like the honey trend. And I still had a lot of fruit roll-ups from another TikTok video. I tried, tried, <laughs> I tried to film that video, didn't work. So what I did was just take all of my fruit roll-ups out of their packaging and stack them on top of each other and that's it you don't have to do more I mean you have to put it in the freezer and that's what I did and I think it was in there for about five hours or something dinner is ready how do you get it off without breaking it Scheiße. Ooh, funny <laughs> oh no I'm kind of breaking it and cold at the beginning but it turns chewy and warm real quick we are actually almost at the end we got one more cursed thing to do i feel like everything is full of fruit roll-ups our last cursed food of the day is gonna be sprite pie that's basically it we're, we're gonna be making this i actually found this video like months ago and i was like okay i have to do this at some point and i'm pretty sure this is the perfect video to try this out can you believe that this actually is a thing i've seen so many videos of this and i mean i've never heard of it before i saw the videos and i wonder if this is 
actually a thing in some state of America. I don't think it could be a thing anywhere else. I'm sorry. Maybe you have a family tradition making Sprite pie every year for Christmas. And if you do, maybe you should quit Christmas. I bought some dough because I want to make it as easy as possible because I feel like this is not going to be my favorite cake anyway. I mean, <laughs> it's not like I want to be negative or anything. Like, I Maybe it's going to taste amazing but still I'm lazy so I bought Aunt Fanny's short crust dough. Anyway we're gonna get this pastry out. We're gonna flatten her. Finally some baking again am I right guys? Short crust pastry in German is not a tank. It looks like a big piece of butter. <laughs> oh my god this is so hard. I'm just gonna try to put it in here and just like, you know, puzzle a little bit. I don't even know. I love that my hair is just hanging everywhere. I think it's been in every dish so far. Here is my um, short starch pastry. What was it called? Short crust. Short craft space. Crust. <laughs> short crust space. Moment. <laughs> my short craft pastry space. Crust. <laughs> okay, time for sprouts. Look, it's so bubbly. Any times on my toes makes me crinkle my nose. <sighs> One cup of sugar and four tablespoons of flour. And you're supposed to just put it in very slowly and not stir it. And it's gonna bubble, but we're gonna ignore it. Let's just wait a bit. Let's give it a minute. Now we're gonna sprinkle some vanilla extract on there. Oh, that was actually a lot. <laughs> Maybe a bit more. <laughs> And now I think you're supposed to grate some butter on top. This is not working. I'm gonna say, ah! I don't wanna have anything to do with this. I think it's fine. All right, putting this into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Ooh, and for 30 minutes. Only God knows what will happen. It's been 30 minutes. And now we're supposed to decrease it to 190 degrees. And bake it for 30 more minutes. I hope it's not gonna burn. What is all of this mess? I don't want to do that. And what is all of this mess? The toaster. Guys, I don't think my cake was a success. I think I added too much Sprite. Right here, you can see it's still a little bit liquid. <laughs> I'm sad. I already let it cool down. I don't think you can save this. I mean, I can try to cut a piece. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna spoon it. This is exactly what I wanna eat at 10 p.m. Very weird. Somehow it leaves a very, very weird aftertaste. I'm pretty sure I just added too much Sprite and not enough flour. If you know what I did wrong, let me know. If you have made this cake before, let me know how you did it. There you go. <laughs> Why do you look so disturbed? Here, I cut you a piece. That's not a cake. It's a pie. Don't cry. Nice consistency. Mm -hmm. Seven out of ten. Really? No. <laughs> we ate so much. Don't do this. That's depressing. <laughs> Is this okay? Oh, big hoppa hoppa. Hi hop muha. This is so sweet. Hi hop muha. This is so sweet. I mean, there's a lot of sugar in there. I've never had such an intense reaction of food. Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> oh, yo. Can you get a straw? Because I feel a like. A straw? Yes, of course. You can drink <laughs> it if you like to. It's not bad. Somehow I don't believe you. The taste is good. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I even put less sugar in it than I was supposed to. I don't think this is a real recipe. <laughs> Jason. All right, everyone, that was my cursed food for today. I've spent way too much time on making all of these recipes. I think I'm gonna have nightmares about this Sprite pie. But first, let me drink it up. You know how it goes, just send me whatever recipes you want me to try. It's okay if it's cursed, it's okay if it's not cursed. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. <laughs> Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on Twitter. So, what was that?
move out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna go down to the basement now. Bye.